I was born in Elko, Nevada. Uh, my dad had a ranch uh, 60 miles from town. 33 of that was dirt road, and we were 14 miles from the nearest neighbor. So my life was that ranch. The cowboys were my heroes, the guys that worked for my dad, and, and they were they were strict with me, but uh, willing. And as long as I behaved myself and didn't make them mad, you know, uh, they'd let me hang around with them, and before long I got to go with them. And uh, that became my life. I judged everything part of my life on was how did it stack up to being on the ranch a horseback? How did that stack up? When I was 16, I decided I was way too smart to go to school anymore, which I was. <laughs> and I went off and started buckarooing. Got called into the Army uh, during Vietnam, come back, and just stayed with it. And it's a funny deal. Oftentimes I thought, I wonder if I could have been maybe better off if I'd have, you know, sold shoes at Penny's or become a neurosurgeon. And none of that ever was seriously thought about in my mind. It, I don't know if I was just too lazy to really think about it or if I just didn't want to know the answer. And so the guy stuck around with it. So I was born into it, found out I liked it, and this poetry come along. And so I got to go around and people would pay me to talk about the cowboy life. So that's a pretty good deal, uh, somewhat uh, confounding to think that while I was doing it, there was never any money or any prestige. But stop doing it and start talking about it, I found prestige in money. Something's basically wrong there, if you get my drift. Something is not right. People like to hear about it in its best moments. The life does present those best moments. But just like the guy that, that's digging up fossils, there's a whole lot of digging that ain't fun before you get to them fossils. And that's the way it is in, in ranch life and buckaroo life. There's, there's lots of things that aren't that much fun. But if you ever cowboyed for a living, I think you either love it or you, you don't care for it at all. But if you love it, I've got so many friends that have, have uh, gone on in life and uh, they buckarooed for six, eight years as a young man, you know, but then got married and had to go find some. Some even became lawyers and kind of prominent people. But for their entire life, they still consider themselves and dress as and want to hang around cowboys, buckaroos, that life. I've been awful lucky. I was born in this life and I've had two jobs. Even when I got back from overseas, I ran a ranch for the Army. I've always gotten to be in this life. So maybe I'm not the one to ask these questions. Maybe because I have very little reference. But I do think it's sad that a guy like me can go make a good living talking about it and the guys out there doing it not making very much money. I, there's, there's some sort of a, a, a dis, distancing there that just doesn't seem to, to to fit right. It's like, you know, magnets trying to stay away from each other. Something, something is sad. The romance is there and people will come and pay money to hear about the romance. But they won't, they won't back up what the rest of that, what he's actually doing for us. And that's sad. I've always felt a little bad about that myself. Always have.